apples, oranges and grapes. Fruit familiar to all of us from childhood. But each fruit has an amazing story to tell. Take the humble apple. It originated as a small tree in Central Asia. And over thousands of years, wild trees have been selectively bred in orchards and traded across the world, giving rise to more than 7,000 cultivars known today. Our supermarkets hold only a tiny fraction of a percent of the fruits humanity has created or depended upon. Over 99% of all bananas sold to Europe and North America are Cavendish bananas. But this is just one of hundreds of cultivars of just one species, Musa acuminata. The banana family includes over 70 other species and countless hybrids, many of which also produce edible fruit, such as the pink bananas of Musa veluntina. Fruit markets in tropical countries can be a treasure trove of weird and wonderful fruit not seen in much of the rest of the world. From mangosteens, to exotic looking rambutans, to the bizarre snake fruit, so called for its scaly skin. The snake fruit is actually the fruit of a really spiky species of palm known as the salak. The weird snake-like skin has to be peeled from the fruit to reveal fleshy segments that have a sweet but acidic taste. But the durian is even spikier and perhaps stranger. This is the durian right here. It's almost like a spiky football and sometimes the spikes can be even larger, about, a, about an inch or so long. It has a... <laughs> A really strong smell. It's very hard to describe. It's something like cheese or milk. Yeah, it's really hard to describe, but it's very, very powerful. And some people say you can smell them for hundreds of meters away. But what you eat is actually inside them, so let's open one up. The durian is so popular here, it is known as the king of the fruit. Although opening the tough rind isn't easy. The fruit is this slimy bit on the outside. It also smells <laughs> quite strongly and it tastes, it tastes very differently. The taste is like a creamy, cheesy mix. Again, it's very, very oniony and very smelly. But it tastes very good, it's lovely. And people in some cases spend hundreds of dollars on the most prized durians here. They're really, 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 really popular. So, the king of all fruits. Each spiky durian can weigh up to five kilograms. They grow on the branches of trees up to 30 meters from the ground. Several cases have been recorded of falling durians actually killing people. So watch out, not just for the smell, but for the spikes too. Another favorite across much of the tropics is the dragon fruit. Several types of dragon fruit are grown most are pink on the outside and either white or bright pinkish purple on the inside. The dragon fruit is actually a species of climbing cactus and so should be grown supported by a sturdy trellis or post with its fleshy stems supported with ties. Dragon fruit seeds are easy to germinate in well-drained sandy cactus soil. In temperate countries, dragon fruit plants can be grown as a pot plant in a conservatory or a greenhouse. If given warm conditions, your dragon fruit will flower, then produce a green bud. This will enlarge and turn pink when the fruit is ripe. Many species of passion flowers are similarly easy to grow as climbers and produce colorful and intricate flowers, as well as delicious and refreshing fruit. Temperate countries have their own range of spectacular fruit. Black tomatoes are just as easy to grow as normal red ones. For best results, grow black tomato plants protected in a greenhouse in strong sunlight to develop the darkest coloration. The cultivar Black Beauty, shown here, is one of the darkest tomatoes of all. Another temperate fruit curiosity is the pineberry, a cultivar of white strawberry 
that tastes like pineapple. Pineberries are grown exactly the same as regular strawberry plants. Although for best results, their fruits should be cross-pollinated with other pineberry or regular strawberry plants to ensure a good fruit crop is produced. Or, if you have a greenhouse, cucamelons are really easy to grow as a vine. Their fruit looks like miniature watermelons, but they taste just like a cucumber soaked in lime juice. So if you're bored of your regular range of supermarket fruit, why not try and grow your own? Good luck and happy growing.